This is an unboxing and review of my new AlpaCool T50 12 volt, 120 volt refrigerator freezer I got on Amazon. It cost $399.99 and with tax was $427.99. I opted for the one that has an LG compressor just because it was something I had heard of. Since I couldn't really be sure which way the box was facing when it was in the UPS truck, I let it sit upright for about 12 hours before plugging it in. That's what you should do with any refrigerator or freezer anyway. The box didn't have any tears or cuts in it, so I opened it up and take a look inside. It was packed well with a plastic bag over top of it and it also had styrofoam on the top and the bottom. Of course, I always took a good whiff of the air inside the box so I would know what the working conditions were like in the factory where it was packaged. Although they make larger coolers, I opted for the 50 liter cooler and based on the measurements given, it would fit into the trunk of our car. This particular cooler is 18 inches high, 14 and a half inches wide, and 28 inches long. The attention to detail is obvious. The power cord area also allows for an optional solar charger, which I did not purchase. The control panel also has a USB port, which is a handy feature. The door closes surprisingly tightly and has a pretty substantial rubber gasket around the inside. Inside the cooler are two removable wire baskets and a plastic divider. This configuration gives you a lot of flexibility in what you want to put inside. There's also a removable drain plug in the bottom of the cooler. Here's a close-up of that door gasket. I've heard of people adding extra insulation on the bottom of the door, but I don't know if it's necessary. The little box that was inside of the cooler contains the following accessories. This is the 12 volt power cord to plug into a cigarette lighter. I did not see a fuse on that. And then also the 120 volt to 12 volt power pack. It also came with a manual which was not very informative and covered a bunch of different models. The AC cord is 7 feet long and the DC cord is 8 feet long which means you can put the cooler in your trunk and then just plug it into a cigarette lighter. The instructions are somewhat helpful and the menu is kind of intuitive but it is a little complex. Basically there is a left side and a right side and you can control them independently so one side can be set up as a refrigerator, one side can be set up as a freezer. After doing some cycling through uh, I was able to figure out which side was which and I adjusted the temperatures accordingly. Incidentally, the battery strength meter shows the voltage of your supply, so you can monitor the battery level of your vehicle, for example, if it's not turned on, or your battery pack if you're using one. A great feature that I found is Bluetooth compatibility. There is an AlpaCool app, which I did not even know about, and it's not in the manual. Basically, if you enable Bluetooth, it will find your cooler, which I had to slow this down because it's so quick, and then you'll see AP on the cooler itself. Tap that, and that will connect your cooler to Bluetooth. I had to slow it down because it is so quick. It gives you about one second. From your screen, you can control every different parameter on the phone. You can change from um, Fahrenheit to Celsius, you can 
uh, enable the left side, the right side. You can go into economy mode, high voltage mode, medium voltage, low voltage mode, all sorts of different things, which you can do from the screen on the cooler, but they're very difficult to cycle through. The phone makes it so much easier. So download the Alpicool app, enable Bluetooth, at least with the T50, the, the cooler that I have, and then once you find the cooler, you can control everything. I figured it would also be convenient for monitoring the temperature when I'm driving. Uh, if the cooler's in the trunk, I'll know that everything is where it's supposed to be. When you open the door, there's also a little LED light, which is not real bright during the day, but I assume would come in handy when it's darker out and you're looking around in the freezer when it's in the trunk of the car or you're camping at night. I started a temperature test at 78 degrees, which was a uh, room temperature for the cooler, and I wanted to see how fast it would get to a preset temperature. Uh, okay, for this purpose, it started at 70 degrees, and then I started my phone. I wanted to test a couple of benchmarks as far as getting to the correct temperature. And as you can see, in just 10 minutes, it got to 39 degrees. Um, the other side, the right side, is not turned on. After just 11 and a half minutes, it got to 32 degrees freezing, which I thought was pretty impressive. After 20 minutes, it was 11 degrees, and I had actually set the temperature for 5 degrees to see how long it would take to get there. I ended up getting to 5 degrees in 25 minutes and 36 seconds, so of course there's no food in here, but that's a pretty quick performance. Next, I tried some conventional settings where I had the refrigerator set at 34 degrees, I believe, and the freezer was set at 10. Uh, I noticed when I took out the center compartment, there's some sort of a sensor in there which changes the cooler into just a freezer or just a refrigerator. And when you insert it back in, it separates it into two different uh, temperature zones, which I thought was pretty interesting. Lastly, I wanted to make sure that it would fit into the trunk of our Toyota Camry. I found that it fit just perfectly with lots of clearance all around and no problem closing the trunk. This will allow us to eliminate carrying multiple coolers and ice packs and things like that when we travel. We can keep things in the freezer, we can keep things in the refrigerator, and we can take it into a hotel with us if it didn't have a refrigerator for us to use. and Just plug it in in the room. I know that there are a lot of other reviews online that go into all the technical aspects and the power consumption and things like that. But uh, I just wanted to do something that was kind of user friendly and just gave the basic nuts and bolts of the cooler and uh, how I thought it was going to fit into our lifestyle. If you have any questions or comments about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comments section. And as always, thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks.